Hello students, today I welcome you to another interesting topic, that is, practical geometry. We are familiar with the term geometry. Geometry comes from two Greek words, geo and metron. Geo means earth and metron means measure. That is, geometry is a branch of mathematics, originally developed and used to measure common features of earth. It studies the shapes, dimensions, sizes, sides, and angles of things. Geometry has various daily life applications such as art, architecture, engineering, machines, sports, space, In all these situations, the construction of geometrical shapes is necessary for preparing plans, sketches, and outlines. Here, we are going to learn how to construct unique quadrilaterals with given measurements. How many measurements do you think it takes to make a unique quadrilateral? Since a triangle requires three measurements to make it, you may think that four measurements will be sufficient to draw a unique quadrilateral. Let's check this by an activity. Take a pair of sticks of length 5 cm each and another pair of sticks of length 7 cm each. Hinge them up suitably to get a rectangle of length 7 cm and breadth 5 cm. We made this rectangle with four available measurements. Now just push along the diagonal of the rectangle. Is the new shape obtained still a rectangle? No, it's not. That is, we made another quadrilateral without changing the lengths of the sides. Give another push to the newly obtained shape in a different direction. We get another quadrilateral, which is altogether different, yet the four measurements remain the same. That is, we could make different quadrilaterals with the same four measurements. This shows that four measurements of a quadrilateral cannot determine it uniquely. If the length of a diagonal is also given can we determine it uniquely? Let's check. Put a stick as a diagonal to the quadrilateral, now try to push it. The new stick prevents the movement it had before. So we can determine the quadrilateral uniquely. That is, if the measurement of four sides and a diagonal of a quadrilateral are given, we can determine the quadrilateral uniquely. Let's see an example. Construct a quadrilateral PQIS. Were PQ equals 4 cm. QR equals 6 cm. RS equals 5 cm. PS equals 5.5 cm. And PR equals 7 cm. First of all, we can visualize drawing a rough sketch with PS equals 5.5 cm. RS equals 5 cm. PQ equals 4 cm. QR equals 6 cm. And PR equals 7 cm. Now, to construct quadrilateral PQIS, we need to construct triangle PQR and triangle PRS. Let's start here construction of triangle PRS with sides PS equals 5.5 cm. SR equals 5 cm and RP equals 7 cm. First, draw the baseline segment PS of length 5.5 cm. 
Now R is 7 cm away from P, so measure 7 cm on the compass and draw an arc with P as the center. R is 5 cm away from S. With S as the center, draw an arc of radius 5 cm to cut the previous arc. Mark this point as R and join PR and SR. So we get triangle PRS. Now, let's construct triangle PQR, as we have done before. Q is 4 cm away from P, and 6 cm away from R. With P as the center, draw an arc of radius, 4 cm. And with R as the center, draw an arc of radius, 6 cm. Both the arcs meet at point Q, joining PQ and QR. We get triangle PQR. It completes our quadrilateral PQRS. Let's conclude. We have studied how to construct a quadrilateral of the measures of four sides and a diagonal is given. Let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Construct a quadrilateral ABCD with AB equals 4.5 cm, BC equals 5.5 cm, CD equals 4 cm, AD equals 6 cm, and AC equals 7 cm. That's all for now. See you all in the next class, with another interesting topic.